Pennevale is very similar to the community that my grandparents lived in. I realized that this was exactly where I wanted to be. I discovered Hannah Vale in the mid-90s when we were out exploring. It's a beautiful little valley tucked in off the coast. It gets its own microclimate, its rich volcanic soils. It's very picturesque. There's some amazing trees on this property that you know you only discover as you start getting into the bush a little bit. We are so lucky to live here. Hannibal is such a rich community. We've got an active rec ground group, we've got a community hall group, we've got the local store, we've got the local school. Everyone uh, mucks in together, particularly at the hall when they're putting productions and events on uh, or art shows. It's a real community event. The range of people that have come into the community have made it a more vibrant community. I think diversity is important in your life and I think Hannibal's got that. We stumbled into Hannibal. and the fact that we ended up in a community that's as incredible as this one. I felt at home here from the beginning. Dairy is a huge part of the Hannibal community. It puts a floor of business and income into the valley. We're producing a third of the state's milk. That's huge. We're keeping all those people in the city fed on healthy dairy products that are grown right here in Hannibal. Being named uh, the legendary capital of New South Wales means a lot to Hennevale people. It's a real morale boost for the whole community. It's just that real reward for all the effort and hard work and striving to be better. We're not seen as you're just a dairy farmer and that actually means a lot. Mm -hmm. The nominated community project is to support a place that's very valuable to the community and that's the reserve. There's been a lot of activity to make something that can draw people together. That extra money will, will go towards um, more picnic facilities, maybe some more tables. The, the more facilities we can have, the more uh, social events we, we, can, we can hold, it all helps. I'm Karen Kasser and uh, farm here in Hannon Vale. Benmar Farm's a combination of our middle names. We have um, about 65 hectares of dairy country here. Milk, well, on average, about 120 cows total. For me, I wouldn't want to be doing anything else. We milk a variety of cows here. Uh, we have just about every dairy breed, except Guernsey, actually. And then another breed that we have, it's not so common in Australia, is called Flegvi. And they are a European breed. They're for dual purpose, for beef and milk. My name is Carissa Wolf. Grew up in Montana uh, on the Canadian border and then adult life was spent in Portland, Oregon. What I like about being a dairy farmer is the interaction with the cows, the rhythm of the farming and the farming with nature and the farming with the seasons. Then the fact that I get to put what I love into something that creates food is phenomenal to me. It's been um, up and down in the industry over a number of years. We can't always control that price, but I still believe there's opportunities out there. I think it's incredibly important for farmers to not isolate themselves and to stay connected. I think all, all dairy farmers, or I guess um, farmers in general, try to keep an eye out for each other. They don't uh, look for any recognition and they don't see themselves as doing something special. It's just what they do. Hannibal should be really proud of who they are. It, it's geographically beautiful, it's a great producer, it's a beautiful place to live, grow and run your business. I'm so proud to be able to hang the sign up 2017 New South Wales Legendary Capital. Like I look forward to seeing that and driving and saying that's my town.